My stance on censorship will be fully revealed in my speech, but basically I think it's a bad thing and a good thing at the same time. It's a bad thing. Artists want creative freedom. On the other hand, if we give them complete creative freedom, then they turn into pornographers. I got divorced from Al in 2010. Um, we were a happily married couple for a million years. Everything was okay. We lost a kid uh, along the way. I don't question my gender or his. I come from a generation where you know, men were men and women were women. I think that today's artists and regular people have a much more complex world to navigate where gender and race are issues that are in the foreground, not on the back of the stove anymore. They're right in front. How do I feel about Hillary Clinton? I, I would like to vote for Bernie Sanders because I am an old hippie. I'm a liberal underneath it all. <clears throat> but I'm afraid of the uh, Ralph Nader effect that it might have on the vote. Uh, I think it, the, the most important goal is to get a Democrat in office and not worry to, well, it'd be great if, if our first woman president could be elected um, after our first black president, our first woman president. That would be a wonderful mark in history. <clears throat> but uh, in a pragmatic sense, I think it's important to think about the vote and, and vote for the person who's going to win the Democratic vote around the country. I had the opportunity to go on a hard hat tour of the, of the Whitney before it was open, and the spaces are vast, truly, truly vast. You could put 300 New York apartments into one floor of the Whitney Museum. Uh, They're using recycled wood on the floor. They are putting up walls as they are required by the installation, not uh, in advance. Uh, the ceilings are really high, so they can, I, I guess, they can float things from the ceiling if they choose. They have a performance space, a flexible, a black box performance space. So they're prepared for where art is going. <laughs>